Hey there tubers, Redneck Ryan here. Time to install the voltage regulator. I just went out today and picked it up. It is part number 797375. That price on there is not what I paid for. I paid for I paid $90. That's with tax. It was $80. Then they ended up getting the wrong one, so they can actually, this is a little bit more expensive regulator than what I was supposed to get. So, this box down so it doesn't blow away. And this is just a quick, easy install. So, I'm set the camera down. As you can see, my gas pedal's on. I'll have more about that in a second. Easy as one and two. Hold the line up and we're done. It's in. Easy. One of my, I figure the most easiest thing to change on this is this uh, regulator here, voltage regulator. And then I gotta get, find some bolts and bolt right here to its uh, uh, relay bracket. So let's just give this a crank. Uh, I gotta go my sh open up my shop door first. Grab my voltage uh, volt voltmeter. Let's go in here. So yeah, and let's just go in here. I meant to have this open before I started the video, but I'm not redoing the video. Who cares? So I'm not find the key to this. Again, I gotta use this trusty screwdriver once the key is on so you can see my generator is out no we didn't lose power but I used it yesterday to run my welder yes my welder because I only have um, I only have a, a 15 amp breaker running in the shop and as welding on 20 amps I've done 20 amp on a 15 amp before but it popped the breaker too much so so yeah Let's give this a crank up and let's see if it's charging. Make sure it's in neutral. It is. Yesterday it started with no choke at all. But uh, let's see what happens. And that was full. Cool. I don't know if you noticed, but I uh, broke a headlight bulb um, yesterday, I believe it was. Uh, I drove this to my friends down the street. I've been there before. I've done video there before. And I guess the uh, one of the bulbs, I thought it was securely fastened, but it wasn't. Smashed off the ground. But they're just a cheapo bulb, so I should have. I think I got a couple upstairs in the shed anyways. So as you see, it was, it's working. Just got to locate a couple bolts and bolt this up. 
right to here where it belongs and yeah I figured out what I'm doing for speakers let me show you see if I can find them uh, some light in here uh, uh, ballast going out on this first light right here last winter it was that light back there wouldn't come on at all through the winter this year it's this light so yeah show you the, the speakers I'm thinking about using but this one here is a center channel speaker I'm thinking about mounting it up front uh, somewhere up front I'm not sure yet where I'm gonna run that one there off of the uh, stereo then I got four other speakers like this I'm going to put two of them on the back so I could actually put two of them on the back and then two of them in the middle because they're small enough they're easy to mount so think about mounting one right in here on each side put the one up front possibly right behind the winch like pointing the down or something like that and then put two on the back right up and right in long here in this area right here and there's a craftsman label I do have the trailer hitch is out getting modified I cut it down last night um, but my grinder died on me so I picked up a new grinder um, I actually might do an unboxing of that in a second after this video and yeah so I gotta make a small slit right in here and grind some of this flat so I can put my trailer hitch in see if I can find the piece that came off the trailer hitch No, I can't, I don't seem to see it. I'll show you the piece that was on it. This is the pin from the trailer hitch that I'm using. No, I don't see it. No. So anyways, uh, I'll show you that probably tonight. My stepdad modifying, uh, cutting it down, uh, making the uh, hitch itself flush on the end. So hopefully I can weld it on there tonight before I go to work. If not tonight, it will be tomorrow. So let me show you the gas pedal. Exactly the same one. Same, exactly the same setup. I just got the return spring in there just to bring this back. As you can see, the cable's just loose because it's obviously not connected to nothing. There we go. And I showed you in a previous video of how I'm connecting it. It seems like I won't have to shorten this line. It should be just long enough. I may have to shorten it a little bit, but all I gotta do to, for that is, I believe, pull it out on this end right here, and I can shorten it a little bit. So yeah, or just cut off this factory little nipple right here, and then this here piece will still slip in. So. I guess most likely we're going to have to shorten up this cable a little bit. It's kind of long. I don't really want it running all over the place in my engine compartment. So let me sit down on here for a second. I never checked it last night, but that should be okay. Oh, oh, it's good. It's good for my heavy right foot. I'm going to get some nice heavy right foot action on this now. Oh, it's going to be nice. That is going to be nice. It's one thing, uh, that's the, really the only thing I'm saving off the old racer is that gas pedal. But like I said in a previous video, I'm keeping the stock throttle just because of the choke. But as you heard, this thing doesn't really need choke to start. So that's not gonna really going to be used. But also, if this thing was to fail, I'll still have the stock throttle. Say if I'm out somewhere romping. So yeah, I can get, I can still get home. So that's pretty much it. I'm gonna do the next video. Will be unboxing my new grinder. Same as what I had before, but I'll do one anyways. So I'll talk to you guys all later. Keep it redneck, and uh, please subscribe and comment. Thank you for watching.